Hello, everybody. This is Dave from Tanked Up Life. Uh, so this is a seven-day, a one-week update on CO2 injection of this tank. So I have done nothing for seven days except my normal two days. I put API leaf zone in the tank, and that's it. I haven't changed the water. I haven't trimmed any plants. I've done absolutely nothing. Um, I'm going to show you the drip counter. The bubble counter, which is still at one bubble per second and a half. And this is the before of this tank. So this is the video that I took last week. And in a moment, I'm going to show you what the results are from just seven days of CO2 of one bubble every one and a half seconds. Okay, so again, take a look at this. This is the before. I'm going to try to see if I can bounce back and forth with the video editing, but at least at the moment, this is the the day that I put the CO2 in the tank, and next we're going to cut to what the tank looks like today, seven days later. Okay, and now here's a picture of the tank today, seven days later. Now, uh, notice that the this plant in the corner, okay, that's... Rheophyllum meadow grossine green. Um, it's now almost at the top of the tank. That definitely got uh, fuller. And more importantly, this wispy plant really exploded with the CO2. That's called Pogostemon stellatus. Um, that really, really soaked up the CO2. I mean, just, it's already basically hitting the top of the tank and folded over. The one on the left side, you could barely even see in the other video. That's reached the top of the tank. And if you look in the back of the tank, Ludwigia triple red, okay, look at the new shoots on top. Look how much healthier it looks. All right, so uh, this this tank is going to be trimmed right after this video. Uh, I'm going to trim the plants. And um, I also am changing out this CO2 diffuser, which I highlighted in the last video. It's made by Fluval. I am very disappointed with. Um, it's actually just growing algae on one end and it's still putting out this very fine stream of bubbles. Um, most of it is not being used. I've never had that problem with this. I've got the uh, uh, a new Neo um, small CO2 diffuser coming. That is supposed to be very, very good. It's actually coming today, so I'm going to swap that out with this one. But is it doing the job? Yes, it's obviously putting CO2 in the water, but it's just too narrow of a, of a stream of bubbles. But anyway, you can see here that the CO2 certainly had a positive effect on this tank at only seven days. And that's one of the reasons why I said in the last video that you don't need to load up on your CO2. You don't need one bubble per second on a standard 20 or let's say 30 gallon tank. Because remember that the more your plants grow, the more you're going to have to trim your plants. The plants basically start taking over the tank. I mean, look at the java fern, how great it's doing. Um, it's really very, very full. You know, everything is doing great. Here's some new leaves on the uh, Nubius. Um, this thing is just growing completely out of control. Again, almost at the top of the tank. And this is also, you know, really doing great. And, you know, my Ligia Triple Red is looking so much better. It's a little obstructed by this other plant, but it's really looking great. Now, this plant on the back that I talked about, you can see a little bit of it is flowering there. Um, I'm actually pulling that out today. I'm very unhappy with it. They're just not growing roots in both my tanks. I got that from my local fish store. They almost look like they're dying, and they're dropping a lot of leaves in my 20-gallon. So I ordered some new um, plants. So new background plants. I use um, DustinsFishTanks.com. Again, no affiliation with them. I get nothing from them. I'm not a sponsor. Uh, but their plants are generally snail, pest snail free. And they do offer a 100% guarantee. Uh, they have great prices. They have alerts where if a plant that you like is not in stock, you can put in your email address and it'll email you when it comes in stock. Um, I've had very good success with them. So I did order some new background plants to put into um, this tank and my other tank. And some more foreground plants as well. Some more of this uh, grassy plants. I want to kind of cover the bottom of this tank with that. But anyway, more importantly, I just wanted to show what seven days of CO2, and again, it's only been seven days at a pretty slow bubble count, 
how effective it is. So if you're thinking of on the fence about getting CO2 and you want your plants to really grow and flourish, you know, the proof is right here. After only seven days, this plant is already spread out and bent over across the top of the tank. Multiple shoots, okay? You can see this, this plant, which was already full, is growing near the top of the tank. What I'm gonna do today is I'm going to pull this out and then plant the in some the individual branches, I guess you can say, because a lot of it is just so dense at the bottom and it gets wide on top, and I really want a fuller look to it. Also, the problem with this plant is when you cut it, the root's so thick, it doesn't look right. So what I've done with this in the past is I actually remove it from the water, I cut it, but I throw the bottom out and I just plant the top. And that kind of maintains this wispy look to it, but not where you have the super thick stem that's just cut off and doesn't look right. You know, if you can see with this one, if I cut this, you know, and then I replanted it, it would kind of maintain that nice wispy look, whereas it just looks awkward if you just trim it. Um, I'm not loving this plant. I do like the wispy tendrils that it puts out, um, but, you know, so I'll, I'll keep it in here. Um, it's probably would be better in a much bigger tank because it really does get pretty pretty large and, and pretty wide. But the fish seem to like it. The fish seem to like swimming through the, you know, these wispy uh, leaves. So I'm gonna leave it in here. I'm probably gonna pull that one out altogether. Uh, again, I'll pull these out. I'll transplant some, some of it. But anyway, Long story short here, uh, again, sorry for my voice, I'm still recovering from that surgery, is seven days of CO2, and you can already see what the difference is in this tank. You can already see that the plants are healthier, the plants are growing, they look good to begin with, but certainly it boosted all the plant growth. So you don't have to go crazy with how much CO2 you're putting in the water, because your plants will grow with any supplemental CO2 is gonna cause your plants to grow faster, okay? But also make sure that if you have CO2 injection, you've gotta fertilize your plants because they're gonna grow and they need nutrients to grow. And the perk of CO2 is that your plants will grow and they'll outcompete out algae, okay? So again, if you look at this tank, uh, very little algae on the glass and I have not cleaned anything. Yeah, I need to run the magnet across the sides of the glass. There is some, you know, algae growing, but very faint along the sides. But in general, your plants will outcompete the algae with CO2 injection because your plants will suck up all the nutrients um, out of your water and out of your substrate. So I hope this helps that for, you know, $75, you can buy this Silsia CO2 system. And, um, you know, most certainly get results. I do have a, um, a pH meter. Unfortunately, I have to replace the probe that's hidden back here. Uh, I'm gonna have to remount it. It was hidden over there from my other tank, but obviously I can't read it. But the probe uh, is basically worn out. I uh, could not calibrate it. So that's the only thing that I really um, do is I check to make sure that my pH is staying stable because CO2 can crash your pH. But again, I have very hard water here in New York, so even that is not uh, not likely to happen, especially with only, you know, a bubble a second or a bubble ever a bubble every second and a half. Um, anyway, hope that helps. I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel. If you can please like and subscribe, we almost have 100 subscribers. I'm at about 96 at the time of this video, and uh, be a cool benchmark to hit 100. So please like and subscribe. Um, any suggestions on other future videos, let me know. Uh, I'm going to change out the CO2 and we'll do another video in another week or so to see, you know, to see the growth on this tank after I change out the CO2 diffuser. And with that being said, everybody, a uh, new video will be coming soon. Thanks, everyone.